welcome back guys to the YouTube channel CD's automotive garage and uh, well this is what I got for you today so I was on the old uh, internet you know looking at marketplace knowing that I shouldn't and uh, well dipped into the old envelope fund and picked up this guy this is a 1990 Chevrolet Blazer four-wheel drive 4.3 loaded She's got uh, power windows, power door locks, tilt column, digital cluster. Got the nice wheels on it, I will say. Um, you know, it's got gauges in it. And amongst of other things. <clears throat> this thing has been sitting for, oh, about six years or more. At least by the tag, it says 2016, so I'm going about six years of this thing sitting. And it looks a little rough around the edges. You know, it's got that patina look to it but uh, it's nothing that I can't handle I actually do dig the old uh, two-tone color the blue and the white I've never been a fan of white vehicles but uh, I seem to own a uh, few too many so this is really not gonna make any difference and the roof and the hood is pretty much the only rust on the body itself the frame is a little rusty underneath but uh, it's more like surface rust. It's nothing really, really bad. Actually, the camera will focus. That's pretty much the worst of it. And it's back here at the back. A lot of, I see a lot of dirt and um, rocks and things up in there. So that could be why. Could have lived on a dirt road for all I know. But other than that, man, this thing looks good. It looks really good for its age. I've seen a lot worse. And I have video uh, a little bit of the vehicle before, or actually when, right when I picked it up. And uh, I will include that video in just a second. But for the most part, I mean, it's this thing's going to clean up nice. Really, really nice. You can see where I kind of went crazy. I had to do something to kind of see, but you can see the paint difference. Look at that. Oh my God, that blue color. And it does have metallic in it. It's like a baby blue color. But uh, the plans for this, I don't really know. I've been trying to find a 4.3. I had a 4.3 truck, and I got rid of it. That was a big mistake. But uh, here I got another one, and this one's four-wheel drive, and it's a Blazer. So never had a two-door. I've had a four-door before, but it was actually a uh, later model round body, and I don't really like those. I like the... The uh, 82 to 93 front end and rear end look. You know, I don't like the others. But uh, anyway, I will uh, actually include that video right here. Uh, just a fair warning, there is no sound. I didn't really talk into the video. So if you're wondering why you can't hear anything or what is going on, I just pretty much recorded of where the vehicle is actually sitting for so long. So now that you've seen that, you can kind of tell where it was sitting for so long. It had trees and weeds and uh, probably poison oak all the way up to the door. Uh, and some of it was even as close as tall as I was. It's pretty crazy, but uh, I know the old tires are dated like, well, they're 235, 75, 15. Uh, where is the date on these? Ah, looks like 46 week of 05. <laughs> right there is the date on them so uh, that's pretty freaking old even if it was still in the road in 2016 uh, that's really odd that you know from 05 to t 2010 that's you know that's five years and then uh, to 16 that's 
That's 16 years. No. No. 11 years. Anyway. Anyway. So, inside, and this is this has got to be fixed. This has got to be marked on the list, but it opens. Door panels removed. It is just nasty, nasty, nasty. Weather stripping's missing off the door. Door panel's missing. It's in the back. The steering wheel shaft is gone. I don't know how to fix that yet. I've never dealt with one with a tilt column where that's uh, messed up. But the center shaft, the nut bolts to, has got play. And it moves up and down, left and right. Uh, I don't know how to really exactly fix that, but we'll have to figure it out. Now, the steering wheel I got is out of my parts stash. I went ahead and threw that in here. I got me another air cleaner because the one that's on it is all crusty. I'm going to sand this down and paint it, make it look good. But, uh, yeah, she's got the digital cluster in her. She's got some cool aftermarket gauges. That's pretty sweet. So, I did put some baking soda in here. Uh, to help, you know, take the smell out. It smells like rats and whatever else. I know the floor is wet on this side. Yeah. And the floor is wet on this side and the floor is wet on that side. So it's going to have to be shampooed and vacuumed and all that stuff, which will be coming. Another reason I set off a little smoke bomb to kill everything is look at these ants. There's tons of them, man. Tons of them. And they were everywhere. Uh, a lot of spiders. A lot of spiders, and like I said, there was rats in this before because there's a rat nest that flew out of the vents <clears throat> when I first turned the key on to uh, see if the vehicle would turn over before I bought it. The uh, vent was on, and stuff flew out of the upper defrost vent, so that's going to have to be cleaned out. <clears throat> that's what's all over the floor. And uh, I do like the manual setup with the uh, four-wheel drive. I don't like the push button style that's later models they always had issues back here is a mess there was a transmission fluid bottle back here I found it so that could be a sign of what could be wrong could be leaking who knows there's the door panel headliner is there you know it's not perfect but it's there we're missing the rear view mirror hmm what else um, oh by the way I did find out why it has gauges and uh, whenever the day that I was picking this up and bringing it home, when I turned the switch on, nothing lit up except for the uh, brake light, check engine light, and uh, seatbelt light, and speedometer and mileage. And she's got 216,000 miles on it. But uh, <clears throat> nothing else lit up. Gas gauge, uh, temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, nothing like that. So I'm guessing that's why it's put in the floor because he couldn't figure out what was wrong with it or fix it. Yeah. I did notice this. That's not good. I don't have keys. I don't know how I'm going to get into the gas tank. That's going to be lovely. And then this side looks pretty good. It actually, it's actually really decent. This will clean up nice. We'll shampoo it and clean everything that could be in this out. Rat pee, whatever. Um, oh my gosh. Still got the owner's manual. Looks like there's the um, piece of the battery. Got some other papers. All that stuff. Oh, well look at that. So he must have been wanting to put a fuel gauge in it too at one time. Well, look at that. Weather stripping glue, huh? Door lock rod clip. All right. What I'm interested in is this stuff right here. No freaking way. Look what I found. The original window sticker when it was sold off of the lot of the dealership. Pretty much tells everything about it. What it came with. All options. All that good stuff. Looks like she was worth about $20,000 back then. 1990. She's a loaded old girl. I uh, got all the options as you can tell So uh, yeah, it's pretty neat Go over it and you can pause it and look at it for yourself so you can check it out It's pretty crazy man. Oh, so it is a Tahoe version. That's what I thought 
So that's pretty neat. That's going to be laminated for sure. Um, <clears throat> I got this book from the junkyard. Uh, it says 89, which is what it says on the door. But you count the last three or four years, which is technically it's a 90. Um, I don't know if the Blazer books said Blazer on them or not, but this should work, you know, to get one for it because I couldn't find one. This was in there. Looks like some uh, good wrench tires. Let's talk Chevrolet. Huh. And then this little guy. That's pretty neat. Hmm, Roxboro. Never heard of that. I'll have to look that up, see how far that is away. Alright, so I found these. So in 91, which means it was only a year old or so, uh, she had 83,000 miles. Then in 95, 7, 12, 95, from 10, 1, 91, it went from 83,000 to 88,000. So he really didn't drive it much. That's in four years, and he put that many miles on it. That's crazy. Boy, it needs another air fresher. And I'll say I'll never probably use a smoke bomb again. Those things, it stinks when you use them. Uh, you're supposed to air it out. I've had it. I've had the windows down. The windows do work. I've had the windows down for a few days, and that smell's still not out of here. But uh, it wasn't but just a little can to kill everything that was in here. And a fuel sending unit. I don't know if that's a good sign or what, but I don't think that goes to this. But anyway, uh, what else? It does come with a radio. That's pretty sweet. It looks like brand new, actually. Yeah, that's like brand new. The notches are still in the volume knob, so I don't think that's ever been used. Too bad they don't have the wiring harness adapter because you got to swap that over when you change these. So I'm assuming the radio doesn't work either. Huh. So they've been trying to put AC in it. Well, that's a good sign. Maybe the AC works. Hmm. Awesome luxury to have if it does because it is way too freaking hot without it. Door shut good. So I got a battery in it. Uh, I got a guy down here that I can get used batteries from for like 40 bucks. So I put one of those in here. And uh, I went ahead and changed the oil in it. So it's got a Wix filter on it now. It's got 10W30 oil in it. And <clears throat> some, uh, uh, just a, about a half a bottle of Lucas. Just because of age, mileage, sitting. You know, none of that does good with it. Um, and I've already ran the vehicle, but I've only ran it off a bottle. It won't run, the fuel pump's dead, so the next video will be coming, we'll be putting the fuel pump in this thing, see if we can get it to run and maybe drive. We'll see. <clears throat> I, um, will conclude that video right in here, so you can check that out. The video quality is not that the best, but it does show you that it runs. So, uh, I'll show you that. Alright, take two, having some camera issues and uh, tripod issues, but anyway, get back into this, it's getting dark. All I want to do is hear it bark off, at least run for a minute, you know, see how the wool pusher is, where it dies, all that good stuff. Really and truly uh, needs to be cleaned off, but you know, it'll work. I got some mix here, some uh, it's 50 50 for uh, like uh, weed eaters and such like that. To a squirt into a water bottle with a hole in the middle, put it down its throat, and fire it off.
making sure that the fuel pump's dead, which it is. Injectors are not doing anything. See what happens. I got a fire extinguisher around just in case it backfires. I'm hoping it doesn't, but we'll see. Oh, look at the stuff that come out of that exhaust. Good gracious. So as you can tell, it kind of ran pretty good for what it did. Uh, oil pressure wasn't that bad. It actually has somewhere around right at 40 PSI. So, uh, and the oil was definitely, definitely black. It needed to be changed. Nasty. <clears throat> Coolant level. It was full and it was green. I've noticed that the guy that had this originally... I uh, must have put some money into this, uh, trying to fix it up until the fuel pump went, uh, is what I'm assuming. Uh, because it had a brand new battery at one time. It was dated. I got it sitting in the floor in the back. Radiator's brand new. Coolant temperature sensor is brand new right here on the intake. The thermostat housing gasket's new, so it must have a new thermostat. The gauges look new. Uh, I added that chrome oil filter cap. That's pretty cool. Um... What else? The power steering high pressure hose is new. Um, the starter is actually brand new too as well. So uh, that saves me a big headache because these are a pain in the butt to replace after full wheel drive. There's not much room under there at all. All right, the battery's hooked up. As you can tell, the door's open and there's no lights. There's no floor lights. There's no dash lights. No interior lights at all, unless you do this. It makes something come on, it makes something come on, but you get nothing else. There's no floor lights at all, so I don't know what's wrong with there. Another thing, too, is when I first got this, I was bringing it home. The steering wheel nut was missing. The steering wheel was all over the place. It was loose, it was coming off, falling off. The ignition lock cylinder switch, this part right here, your key goes into, that was completely gone. You had to take pliers to turn it. So I went to the junkyard, I already made a junkyard run for this thing, and got one of those to put in here with a key, because I have no keys for this at all. So I can't lock the doors or anything like that until I get keys made. Either that or actual new uh, lock cylinders for the doors. Well, now the check engine light's not even coming on. Uh-oh. That's not good. You can see it doesn't run without the fuel pump. Fuel pump's definitely dead. But as for now, that's going to do it. You can tell she was running off the bottle, so she does run. That's what I wanted to make sure. I don't know anything about the transmission just yet, so... 
transmission could be toast for all I know it does have a clean title so there will be definitely most definitely more content coming on this blazer you got to stay tuned for that make sure you have the notification bell on so when I upload you get the notification for it guys because you're missing out on the good content I'm telling you so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, as always hit that subscribe button what are you waiting for and uh, comment below what you think or what else you might want to see your content thanks for watching I will catch you in the next one subscribe like share and follow thanks guys if it wasn't for you I would not be doing this type of crazy stuff without you thanks I'll catch you in the next one stay tuned